So guys, today we're back for another video on the channel today. We're back for the review for the Newcastle United vs Arsenal game. If you haven't checked out the player ratings and the vlog of the game, make sure to go and watch it. Both videos will be in the description. And today now, we've got the review of the game. So, I haven't watched back any highlights. I'm just going to go off all this from my experience at the match. So, starting off, right, we'll go through like, the full day. Uh, I know that's for the vlog, but like, I mean like team sheets and all that. So, Starting off, we'll go with the team sheets and for my predicted 11, this will be obviously a new little thing in the reviews where I uh, check how many I got right. And I got 10 out of 11 right, which I probably would have got 11 if I knew Richie was fit. I got the formation, everything perfect, right? I got the goalkeeper, Dvabka, the three centre halves, the wing backs, the three centre mids and the two strikers. That was the formation and I guessed it. And then... The only person I thought well Ems would start because Richie wasn't fit, and then uh, Richie started, which was a bit of a surprise. So, uh, yeah, going on to the uh, the game, right? Uh, it's my first time in City of the Park in the Gallagher East corner in a Premier League match. I was excited. I was a bit nervous because all the situation about the boycott, but there wasn't really a boycott, was there? The attendance was 47,300 and something, but that does mean people who have bought season tickets and tickets. So that's, that's like everyone's tickets and season tickets bought. People didn't go to the games. The likes of new, all the people, well, for the people at Newcastle Fans TV, they have bought season tickets for the season but didn't go to the game. I respect what they're doing, but my personal state is you're not giving them any money because you've already bought your season tickets, so why not just go to the game? But they've done it, I've, I've been watching their, their live stream, so I've been hearing what they've been saying on their views on the boycott situation, if, if there was really a boycott. So, going into the game in the first half, we looked like the better side. We really did make Arsenal look like our situation. But yet again, they, had, they were missing Lacazette, the Pepe didn't start, Louise didn't start, Turney still injured, so some of the players that the played were... Young, like Nelson, uh, made the nails on the right back, and Willock started as well. So it was that like left hand side, but yet again, the formation that we were using in, in that game didn't affect them. And I think if we started with two centre midfielders and three up front, so Miggy on the left, right wing St. Maximin, and striker Joe Linton, I think we could have maybe got a goal in the first half. Joe Linton had some great chances. Uh, yeah, again, I like I say again, I haven't watched the highlights back. I'm not going to watch the highlights back after the thing, but before watching this video, uh, the penalty the, the, the decision, right? Was that a penalty? Yet yeah, again, I, I'm gonna say again, I haven't seen the highlights. I think there was contact, but I don't think it was a dive. I think if you get wait, but I don't get it though. If you wait, wait, wait do you remember Salah against Newcastle, right? Where uh, literally double done this. That, well, obviously in the back of the show, he, he just done that and it fell straight to the ground. It was a penalty. It's done the same. He's from what I've seen, he's hit his leg and he's went down. There's contact. It's a penalty. I don't know if they are checked it. If it did, then I don't know what they're saying because it. Well, for me, there was contact. What more can you do? And then they scored, and it all was because of. Jetchel Willems. I think it's because he hasn't played in the Premier League before. He's not used to the situations. And you cannot think you've got time on the ball. You never have time on the ball unless you are literally... You, the ball's been switched and you've literally just got it. That's the only time you've got time on the ball in the Premier League. But that, you haven't really got any time on the ball to play it off or think what you've got to do. You, it, just, it just clicks. And... Him playing in the Bundesliga is completely different and the balls came to him completely just not getting fit, not even thinking about going to the ball and then ball goes into the box and Aubameyang just pushes it in and it, it goes in and after that we did create chances. If you want to go and see them chances and the goal about Aubameyang, make sure you go and check out the vlog, like I'm going to say again, check out the vlog, go and watch it. So. We'll go on to the stats. My computer screen's there, so if I turn around and look at the stats, I have to do it obviously. So we had 38% possession, they had 62% possession, pretty obvious. 
they were. To be fair though, if that was Rafa, we were probably going to have 28 rather than 38. We both had, no, we had more shots than Arsenal. We had 9 shots and they had 8 shots. That's surprising because Arsenal have got a Bamiyang and stuff. The, and, the, and we both had 2 shots on target. The only shot I can remember on target was the goal and the one where it went straight to Devabga where he, like, literally, it wasn't going in anyway, so... Anyways, uh, we had five corners, they had three corners, and we created 12 fouls, and they had seven fouls, and that's the stats. Uh, from looking at the stats, a draw was a fair result, and, for, and I'm still going to stay, a draw was a fair result. Going into the next week game against Norwich, we've got a winner, in my opinion. It might come out and haunt us, and it could haunt us for the rest of the season. We've got to pick up four points on the next three games. We've got Tottenham away, we've got obviously Norwich, and then we've got Watford at home. It's going to be scary because it's going to be worse than last season. We've got Bruce as manager, but um, I've said now, yes, I've looked at his history, it's not the greatest, but I'm going to judge Steve Bruce on his managerial time at Newcastle rather than his history because... You can't. You, you've got to judge a manager on his performances. Look at the managers. Uh, Pochettino was surviving with Southampton, getting them like 12th, 13th, like Newcastle when we had Rafa. Now he got the Champions League final with Spurs with, without spending a penny. Tottenham will never look at their history of Pochettino at Southampton. They'll only focus on what he's done at the club with Spurs. And I think that's what we've got to do with Steve Bruce. Get behind the manager. Because it's the only way we're going to do well this season. If we don't get behind the manager, how the hell are we expecting to go onto the pitch and picking up three points? We're not going to. Uh, stuff in the game as well. Uh, we had no centre midfielders on the bench and four defenders. But, when because me, Harry and Josh, before the game, went and looked for Robbie Arsenal fan TV. I was going to try and get with the vlog and get another pitch out of him. I met him last time. I'll put the picture on screen now uh, if I can find the picture. You, you might be able to see if I go off now. We went to go and find him. And then as we're walking back past the player's entrance, Key was literally just next to the doors. Uh, it was definitely Key. He's wearing a full Newcastle tracksuit. And he's on the phone to someone. It might be his agent. Probably his girlfriend. Oh, Jesus. Wait, one of my little things up there. Jesus Christ. Probably his girlfriend or something, but... It's a bit scary seeing no centre midfield, not one centre midfielder in the whole squad, not on the bench. But the most scary thing about it was he took off two midfielders. He took off Shelby and he took off Longstaff and he brought on Willems a left back and then St Maximin a right winger. That just baffled me a little bit because you went from a centre midfielder to an attack. Like you've got the players, you've got the likes of. Matty Longstaff could have been in the squad today. Key could have been in, in the squad today. And I think we should have signed one more midfielder. Maybe if Matty Longstaff wants to focus on the under 20 face, we had to. But we didn't. So I think Matty Longstaff has to come into the side now. And if he ever needs to be called up for a match, he's got to take his responsibility and he's got to do it on the pitch when it matters. So, any more on the game? Any Arsenal fans watching? Uh, I didn't think you played bad. I didn't think you played amazing. I've tipped you as not to get Champions League football. From looking at the Manchester United, Manchester United beat Chelsea 4-0. Frank Lampard, you're the man. You're going to send Chelsea to win the league. Like When I looked at Chelsea's team, losing Louise, losing Hazard, in my prediction video, I put them fourth. Fourth in the league. I thought, you know what? I'll just hide them there. Tottenham won't miss out. I really wish I could have changed that. I really wish I fought and used my brain a bit and put Tottenham there. Like, Arsenal have got some decent players. I think it will get time. Obviously, Chambers played today. I don't think Chambers was too bad, but Louise will obviously play there over Mustafi and all them. Who else? Uh, Turney. Left back was natural Monreal. He's he's quite slow, Monreal. Like I said in my player range, he's got quantity over quality. He's played a lot more games in the Premier League in football rather than be natural, natural good left back. I think Turney is a perfect left back for Arsenal. 
So Arsenal fans, let me know your thoughts going into the rest of the season. Thanks for watching the review. Like I said, there'll be more videos on the channel after match games. I'm not certain about times and stuff. Uh, I'm going to try to upload them all on like, like obviously the Sunday day. All the games, all these videos will go out on a Sunday. So if you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And yes, I'll see you all in the next one. And the videos coming up next week for the games versus Norwich and my FPL stuff. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one.